what's going on welcome back to the channel uh, today I'm gonna show everybody my 2020 f350 and obviously it has a service bed on it uh, this truck I ordered with the LED lights so it obviously had the LED lights on the factory bed also uh, this was a regular pickup truck bed whenever I ordered it and uh, I did not want to buy a detuned uh, F350 chassis cab so I went ahead and got the regular bed and you can't get the LED lights on the front if you don't do that also so uh, this is the way I wanted it but I put this bed on it just right after I got it so the bliss system messed up the truck whenever we took the bed off so I'm going to show you how to disable that and how I did it and all the issues that I've had with this mounting this bed on there and how I fix some of it we're going to use a program called Forescan and I'll show the show you the adapter I have I, I bought off of Amazon so let's go check it out all right guys so while i'm wait, waiting for my computer to boot up so i can show you all the program on it i'm gonna show you all the adapter i have i bought it off amazon so right here we have the obd link ex obviously designed for four scan uh scan tool so if y'all here's the part number right here obd links ex multi-protocol obd2 scan tool part number is 429101 and this is what this thing looks at looks like let's go ahead and pull it out of the packaging so, it's just right here just obd2 uh go go or it goes into your obd2 port usb into your computer comes in instructions i do i don't use it enough to memorize this so i go ahead and just leave this out so that I can remember what to do. So let's get the computer fired up and I'll show y'all uh, the app and what to do and how to get into your computer and look at everything. All right, so we got the computer pulled up. We got it plugged into USB right here. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna plug it into our OBD2 port down here. All right, so we, go, we already have a green light. So we read this and green LED tool is ready to use turn vehicle to on position Look over here Focus. all right we're in the on position we did not start the truck so next thing we're gonna launch launch the app and then click the connect button so let's go ahead move my computer over here all right so down here this is what the four scan app looks like right there yep so I'm gonna double click on it let it pull up all right so down here in the bottom corner you're gonna see some icons you hover over that it's gonna say connect so connect the vehicle so our vehicle is still on so we're gonna sit there and we're gonna click that all right please note ignition key is in on position all right, so we don't have the HSMS CAN switch, and vehicle is not moving. Okay. Okay, that adapter is not optimized for maximum performance. This adapter should be working. Would you like to increase the bald rate now? So we're gonna say yes. All right, recommended pro. Since this has been plugged into this truck before, it gives me this recommended profile with my VIN number. So, would you like to load? Yes. So now you can see it's loading everything. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into modules. No, we're not. Okay. We're gonna go down here into configuration and programming and over here where you have your modules so I think I have to remember which ones I, I went in to do this but I'm gonna go into body control module in the as-built format so I'm going to you click on it once and you come down here to the play button 
and you press the play button. Potentially, so actually we're gonna cancel that. We're gonna go to the body control module, not the as built, the one under the as built. So we're gonna press play. See what happens here. Okay, so this is your body control module. This gives you all these different options right here. So let's scroll down. Let me look here. This is where you can turn your auto high beams on and off. You come down. You can look at look at everything that your vehicle has. So one of the things I did, the I made where the blinkers, when the blinkers flash, they did a hyper flash from the after I took the factory bed off. So one of the first things I did is I went in here to rear LED turn outage. And obviously I came over here and I disabled that. So that's one thing you can do. Uh, and then I also believe I disabled the rear stop bulb outage. That's disabled. I believe that is all I did in this body control module. So we're gonna go, you come down here now and you press stop and that closes it out. So then you're gonna go back up to configuration programming. And I went ahead and I went into, uh, I just went into every one that was not an as-built module. So it'll read everything. And then you can see all the different things. Your puddle lamps, you know, reverse mirror, everything that is on this truck is controlled through this blind through this body control module now here's one of the things I had to disable blind spot monitoring system right here I had to disable that so make sure that's disabled we'll get out of this one it has to be disabled in three different modules so we'll go ahead and we'll look at this one right here Right here, another one, blind spot monitoring system. I have that disabled. One of them is also gonna have the cross traffic alert, which will have to be disabled. So I don't see anything else in that one, so we're gonna get out of that one. Go on to this one right here. All right, that one don't have anything in it. We're gonna go to to this one down here. Obviously I'm play, pressing play down here every time. All right, let's see what we have here. We have another one right here, blind spot. Let's find it, blind spot monitoring system. Right there, you have to disable that. Uh, cross traffic alert, you have to disable cross traffic alert whenever you are getting rid of your blind spot system in your bed. So that's another one you have to disable. Keep scrolling down. If you put a different size fuel tank in your truck, you can go right here to fuel tank size and gallons and come over. You can change that. So if you put a Titan tank in here that is a bigger tank, it'll it'll show where your mileage will be correct up there depending on how many gallons you have. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and I don't see anything else in that one. We're gonna stop it. Go back to configuration. We're gonna go up to the top, we're gonna go into the PCM. I don't think we looked at this one yet. So that one has where you can look at, you can do like a manual generation regen on your DPF. Uh, set some other stuff, tire size, vehicle speed limit. Uh, which I don't know if that's actually anything. I'm not going to edit it because I don't want to mess anything up right there. So I have not found. All right, we got to go back to that. We got to go down here. We got to stop that. Let me go back. Let's click on this one again. Play it. Uh, yes, sync three is correct.
So I dis also disabled the rear vehicle camera because the vehicle camera does not work with the bed not plugged in correctly. So it would actually just show a blank screen uh, on the screen. And I went ahead and just disabled that so I didn't have to worry about it anymore. And so let's see what else. We'll stop that configuration. Let's go back and look at this body control module. So somewhere in here there is a place to change where the fog lights can be run with the the high beams. And I have not been able to find it again for some reason. But it's there because mine does it. Okay, right here. Using, we're in the body control module, body, right here you see body CM, there we go, body CM module configuration. Alright, and they have an option called using front fog with high beams. That needs to be allowed. So they have some different lighting options here. You can change all this stuff, edit it. It's very, very easy. All you have to do, if you want to edit that where it was not, it was disabled before, all you have to do is edit selected. It was actually inhibited is what they called that one. I changed it to allowed. So I'm going to X out of that. I'm actually going to stop this one because that's what I wanted, you to sh wanted to show y'all. And then we're just going to get out of it now. So everything's been stopped. We didn't change anything, so we don't have to save it. No error codes are found. So we go back to the very top. And then we're going to come right here. And we're going to hit disconnect from vehicle. And it's not connected. Now it's ready to take off. So. That's all there is to it. So, uh, I know that was kind of uh, in-depth for, for running that system, but that system can be used for a lot of different things, and uh, if y'all are really, really interested in, in changing some th things up on your vehicle, then uh, as far as running your fog lights with your high beams, or if you throw a bed on it like I did here and need to get into the system to change all these things, the, your best option is to do it yourself. Buy this program. This program's $50.00. Uh, maybe it was for a lifetime subscription to it. I don't really remember now. You'll have to look it up. But I paid, a th I'm pretty sure it's $50 for this. It was $50 for for this uh, OBD2 adapter right here. Go to your computer. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the best thing that you can do. I, I, I tried to take this truck to the dealership whenever I put this bed on so that they could disable it and they didn't have a clue what I was talking about. So when I downloaded this program, I just started going through it, looking through all the options, trying things myself. Uh, and if you're not in the, the, if you're in the body control by the modules that I was in on this screen here, the non as built ones, then uh, you're not going to hurt anything. You can't, that you can't go back in there and change back. Just keep a log of everything you change. And so you're able to go back in there and do it. So I highly recommend getting this program if you want to get in there. Um, you'll probably even be able to charge people down the road if you want them, if you want to work on their vehicles for them. Uh, there's a long list of vehicles this program is good for, so be sure to check their website out and uh, look at that. But I highly recommend it. And and uh, if you got any questions, be sure to ask them in the comments, and I'll tell you how I did it, or I'll get on here and try it myself and see what we can do and see if I can help anybody out however I can. But anyway, that's that's the whole uh, four scan system and how it works with the 2020 uh, Ford F-350. And so I just want to show everybody that. And if anybody's got any questions, just let me know. Until next time, we'll see you later. Y'all have a good day.